Let's slow down this camera just a bit. So if you recall from our last clip, when we opened up this and did this walkthrough, we basically ran through this particular scene. So I'm going to change my visual style here. We'll go from a hidden line to a consistent color down here. And then we'll just, just as a refresher, we'll go ahead and press play and watch how fast we basically just run through this. No real way for anyone to experience what's going on. It's confusing. It might even get you seasick. So what we need to do is we need to slow this down. And the best way to do that is in our options bars, messing around with our frames, frames per second, things like that. So here we go. We have our options bar here. So in order for me to make that change, I'm going to come to this area here. This is our frame settings. So let's go ahead and click on that together. So what it does is it brings up this window here. Now, there's a few parameters here I want you to pay close attention to before we just start tweaking dials and turning numbers. We have a total of 300 frames, which is the entire, all the frames in our entire scene. And that whole frame took us about 20 seconds to get through. So if I divided this by, 50, by 20, that means I get 15 frames per second. So these are going to be some really important numbers. So if you want to slow this down, let's see what happens if we make an adjustment to the total frames. Again, that's, that should adjust the entire length, right? If we increase this number, when it's divided by that number, this number should increase. So let's stretch out the time. We'll increase the time of our walkthrough. So I'm going to go crazy here. I'm going to say 3,000. We'll increase it by 10 so we can see an obvious change here. So I'm going to say apply and OK. So let's see what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play from our beginning. And you can automatically see by us increasing those frames, we basically increased the time. And it made it move just a little, oh, quite a bit slower, actually. So the best way for you to really slow down a walkthrough is going to have to go in there and increase your frames. Now, whatever speed you want to work with is up to you. I did 3,000 because it's... I'm just trying to multiply 300 times 10 and see if I can find an obvious result. If I would have put 3,000 in and it would have went super fast, I would have known, hey, increasing it actually makes it worse. So by us uh, dec or increasing the frames, it actually made it better for us and it actually slowed down the scene. But it also, as a result, went ahead and increased the time. You can see we're still going through this. So I'm going to hit escape real quick and I'm going to hit yes. But I'm going to go back here, and you can see we went from we multiplied this times 10. You know it's going to affect this result here. So we went from 20 seconds to 200 seconds. So if you want to slow down your walkthrough, simply just beef up those total frames. All right, so now we have that slowed down. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the edit mode. In our next clip, I want to talk about how we can actually work with the path and edit the path. And right now, it looks like we may be walking through a couple of walls, and I'll show you how we can get around that. So I'll meet you in the next clip where we'll edit our walkthrough path.